what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel we back at it again man episode two of this 1990 hundo accord man trying to get the thing back up on the road so it can be my little put put my little dog on beat around town uh last video you know what i'm saying again check it out i cleaned up the inside of it real good you know what i'm saying got the leaves off they didn't fell right back on there if y'all can see that's why i didn't wash it the other day when i was showing y'all but uh anyway we're gonna get back to work on this thing today man we're gonna um <clears throat> try to get this dog on flywheel taking off and put the new one on there you know what i'm saying for the five speed and with no further ado let's get to it show y'all what's going on with these parts that just came in we're gonna unbox them and we just gonna go from there all right y'all check it out check it out check it out check it out uh got the clutch clutch this came in so i got that these are the five speed nuts and bolts because like i was telling y'all yesterday they uh they different for a five speed and on an automatic so i got all them all them came in Fresh plate came in. The uh, throw out bearing. Throw out bearing came in. And the flywheel. Yep. So this is everything I'm gonna need right here, minus the transmission. Um, good news on the transmission too. The transmission is on the way. It got shipped out from eBay. I just got to wait on them to send me a uh, confirmation that it didn't came to the uh, terminal and I got to go pick it up. So we gonna keep the ball rolling, y'all. Like I was telling y'all, I got to take off this doggone flex plate from this automatic right here and discard all that right there because I don't need none of that. So, yep, that's what we gonna be doing today. So y'all stay tuned, man. I'm gonna knock this thing on up. Spray that little looby doob in there first so I can get them doggone bolts out with ease, hopefully. Just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. And we're gonna come back to it. Let that sit. Alright. Let's see if we can get these bolts to come off. y'all can see I got the flex plate off old flex plate got that off of them um my seal still good I had that did when I got the motor put in so don't gotta change my rear main seal that's good let me show y'all these nuts and bolts show y'all the difference in between the automatic and uh, manual transmission um, and flywheel bolts all righty y'all all right these are the automatic These are the manual. See how they longer? So just know, if you're trying to go from automatic to manual, you're doing this swap, make sure you get these bolts right here because your automatic bolts not gonna fit. 
as y'all can see. A little bit longer. These the automatic, then the manual. Just a little side note. Let's go ahead and get the new flywheel put in, y'all. Also, I got some um oh some red thread locker that I'm gonna be using on these too. Make sure you put you some thread locker on them, some red. So let's go ahead and get this thing put on there. Tight on all the rest of these threads, and we're gonna be good to go. All right, y'all, we're gonna torque these bolts down to uh. 75.9 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and knock that out. All right, y'all. We got it torqued down 75.9 foot pounds. Now we're going to go ahead and install the, uh, uh, the clutch disc. All right, we got the clutch clutch this gone and you see how I use this right here this little tool right here come with it come with some clutch kits it makes makes it so that you know this right here is perfectly aligned with the flywheel so that when you put the uh when you put the pressure plate on there everything gonna be aligned up after you put the pressure plate on you're gonna line it up with these dials right here line the pressure plate up with them dials on the one way it can go after you bolt it all down, take that back off. Press plate bolts, 19 foot pounds. Make sure you torque those down too. Let's go and get it done. Clutch, flywheel and clutch is installed. 
Knock that off the list, y'all. Got that installed. Like I said, make sure your um your flywheel bolts. Make sure your flywheel bolts torque down 75.9 foot pounds, and your um pressure plate bolts supposed to be 19. All right, everybody. As y'all can see, finally got that thing put on on there. It didn't take no time at all. It wasn't that hard. It wasn't hard at all, honestly. But um, yeah, anybody can do this, man. Y'all can do this at home, man. Y'all ain't gotta be taking y'all car to no shop and be letting people charge y'all an arm and a leg to change out your clutch. If you got some mechanical knowledge, man, you should know how to drop that transmission. But as soon as I finish that up, y'all gonna mail man ran and here go what came in the mail, y'all. Freaking my braided steel clutch line came in. Uh, my master and slave master cylinder slave cylinder everything came in I ain't gonna unbox it y'all already know how that stuff look y'all yeah, know what that look like I done already opened it though yeah, yeah. Master cylinder. Slay. Cylinder came in. And the good thing about this kit, y'all, is when you buy this as a kit, I bought this as a kit out on uh off of eBay. So when you buy this as a kit, it comes with these fittings already for it. That's gonna bolt up straight to it. So it's gonna eliminate the hard line that uh it used to be going from your uh, your slave to your doggone master and from your master to your slave. It's just going to go straight from here to death. Bam. Super easy. But uh, we're going to save this for um, tomorrow, man, I'm, because I'm going to go ahead and put the clutch pedal in now that this came because the clutch pedal bolts on to this. So, yeah. If it would have came a little earlier, I would have went on ahead and knocked it out, but I got other things to do today, too. But, yeah, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got the dog on flywheel on. We got the clutch pad on. We got the uh, pressure plate on there. She ready to go. Everything torqued now. That transmission on the way. So y'all stay tuned, man, for more videos, man. Part two. Knocked it out. CB7. CB7. Y'all still stay tuned, too, man, for Project C10. Project 3rd Gen. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. CB7 coming along real nice. She coming along nice, y'all. See them leaves. Them leaves don't stop out here. They don't stop, guys. But anyway, man, if y'all like this video, y'all like content like this, man, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I need that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit that bell for notifications, like I said, so y'all can keep up with this series, with these episodes, know what I'm saying, of the CB7. We're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on with the content. Like I said, I don't have that many subscribers and viewers like that, but I'm going to keep going with it, man. I'm Every day, I'm getting out here. I'm knocking these projects out. I'm getting off my ass. Same thing y'all need to be doing, man. Until next time, man. Georgia boy out.